All right, guys. Next thing to do is the oil change. Let me go get a container for the bottom here. <clears throat> Should be able to put something on the bottom there. Should come out. Drip in the container. Be back with you. All right, guys. So to basically let's see if you can see that. Yeah. To uh, take off the nut for the oil, it's right here. Okay. There's a little hole here that will drip under. I'm going to put a um, put this bucket underneath since it will leak. Line it up with this, All right? And I am going to dispose of it correctly. I do have my thing that I put the oil in. I recycle the oil. It's just too big to go under. Let's start off by doing this. Sitting this up. Should be good. I already started loosening this up. As soon as you take it out, it's going to squirt. So that's going to take a little while. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the air filter I bought for it. While that is that. All right. So basically, the air filter is under here. Pretty self-explanatory. I started taking it out already. Unscrew this. So once again, like I said, the air filter is under here. You unscrew that. There, unscrew. Now you're gonna see how bad my air filter was. <clears throat> it's important to check it. I've had this uh, pressure washer probably a good, um, whew, probably going like on 10 years. Never gave it a tune up. I know, I know. But look how bad this is. <clears throat> my finger in there just disintegrates so definitely needed a new one and it's great to get this little package from stems and it brings the air filter um, spark plug and the oil for like 30 bucks you can't beat it all right let's put this bad boy on wing nut number uno Put it too tight, you know, just not with brute force. I right, guess that part's done. Um, let's check the oil, see what's going on. So the oil's not coming out anymore, so we should be good. But I'm gonna see if I could maybe. Lean it over and see if anything else comes up. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. There's a little more dripping going on, but that should be pretty much it. All right, turn it back up. <clears throat> Not too much pressure, just make sure it's tight. All right, let's move on to the spark plug and we're all done. Obviously, I'm not gonna put the oil in as of yet. I'm gonna take the spark plug out and then I'm gonna put the oil. Don't forget <laughs> not to put the oil in your machine. All right, guys, so there, there's the spark plug right here. Take this little cover out, boom. Spark plugs underneath. To be honest with you, I think I changed the spark plug about a year ago or something like that. But at the end of the day, it came with a kit. Why not do it? <clears throat> All right, so we need a 
13 sixteenths to go in this bad boy. And I am going to need a extension. So I'll be with you in a second. All right guys, so this is what I had to do. <clears throat> I didn't have an extension. So that gives me another reason to buy another tool. So I have a breaker bar. <clears throat> I had to take off the air filter, take the bottom piece out. Very easy. And uh, put it in here. Boom. Boom. Break it. Take out the nice shiny one that they supplied us with. It's a NGK 7131. Everything should come gapped and everything. I mean, it's for the model itself. So, put this bad boy back in. All right, guys, I'm going to tighten it up. Basically, you know, just tighten it like any other spark plug. Don't put too much force into it. And I'll be back with you. We're going to go ahead and put the oil after this. All right, guys, so basically, uh, going to go ahead and uh, put the oil in. Comes uh, with two of them from Stens, 10W30. Uh, four cycle engine oil, 20 fluid ounces. Here you go. how clear it is compared to what was in there. Pretty crazy. I'm gonna do it both ways. <clears throat> some people say not to screw it in and then check your oil. And some people say screw it in and then check the oil. So I just screwed it in, check the oil. Well, to like right here. And I don't screw it in, just put it in there. She's got oil and she's nice and clear. Um, for right now, I'm gonna clean it up. <clears throat> it's all dirty, got oil everywhere. And uh, hook her up and see how she starts up. All right, be back. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, give it a test start. Just remember to go ahead and check uh, check everything, right? You want to check that you plugged in your spark plug back in. Um, make sure these tight oil. The oil tight. Make sure you got enough pump fluid. All right. All right, guys, here it goes. Pressure. 
So you can tell the, the engine as it shuts off. Um, it's only really working where the choke is, is basically on. When the choke is halfway or I take off the choke, it starts surging. So what I'm going to do, probably in the next video, is I'm going to go ahead and um, try to clean up the, the carburetor, the jet in the carburetor, and see if that helps out. So once again, I appreciate you looking at the video. Uh, any suggestions? Any comments? Go ahead and uh, do that. And uh, do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel if this video helped you out, okay? Thanks.